Hey guys, what's up? This is a friend Mainal from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tecla Structures. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to provide this crank reinforcement in the slab in the Tecla Structures software. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So uh, let's just press uh, function or control plus two uh, to make the model visible. Let's uh, take a particular grid line. Let's take the grid line one. We want to know apply uh, the crank bars on this particular slab so uh, how to do it let's go with it so first of all uh, let let us look into the structural drawing of a particular slab as you can see this is the structural drawing so this particular bars which are coming you know perpendicular it is 150 center to center and this one at the bottom is 125 center to center so what does this represent uh, this 150 center to center as you can see the section is cut like this the perpendicular ones are this so this is the one which is 150 center to center this is the one which is 8 mm 125 center to center so it is cut and we are viewing the shorter span so that's how we you know read the uh, structural drawing of slab now we can provide uh, this if you have this this is not a crank option but if you have the crank option you can provide accordingly so this lengths you can provide accordingly so these are the basics of uh, uh, like the slab reinforcement so in the top we have uh, two layers of reinforcement uh, one will come like this that is uh, uh, it will start from here and will come like this and will go like this and another one from, from the continuous end uh, it will come like this and it will end here the crank will end here and it will go like this so like this it goes so let's uh, try to do this in uh, Tecla structure software so uh, let's go along this grid one uh, because we want this uh, particular value of this grid one so we'll just uh, go along this grid one so this is where we want to apply our uh, slab reinforcement so right click on it and then we'll just hide it so if this option is not available you can just click anywhere and just click escape escape and then you can get the option select and then hide so after you hide this uh, you can then click on escape uh, for starting the reinforcement um, of your particular slab uh, so before you do that let's you know make some uh, construction objects along the plan as well if you have the plan visible so this is uh, level 4200 so we have uh, you know the use of uh, uh, the plan so we'll go to view list and we want to open the plan 4200 and we want to open it so it will take some time to uh, open so once the plan is opened uh, we are looking for the we are looking for the grid one so let's uh, draw some construction lines here we'll go to edit option and we'll draw a construction object we'll draw start with a line here so we'll uh, start from this point and we'll uh, draw a perpendicular line here and uh, here also we'll, we'll we can uh, similarly we can uh, start from here and uh, we'll draw a perpendicular line along this so in this lab we are giving a cover of 15 mm so uh, let's uh, start with a cover of 15 mm so we'll do this copy with offset and this value we'll just change this value to uh, 1 5 15 mm since it it will uh, you know uh, take a start from here so you can also uh, take a higher value uh, let's uh, let's do this as 15 plus uh, this uh, takes the half uh, of the slab portion so let's do this 15 plus 8 since the 8 mm reinforcement are used so let's do this as uh, 19 so uh, if we do this as 19 and then click on enter and then we'll just click select this construction line and give the direction Similarly, this construction line give the direction. So this will be our, uh, you know, the uh, range to reinforce when we, uh, you know, give the uh, structural uh, shape of the rebar along this. And another range we want, since as you can see, these bars, the top bars, as you can see, there are space. Both are spaced along a, with a distance of 150 center to center, which will come uh, like this at the bottom. These are spaced uh, at 150 center to center. So. We want to place uh, them accordingly along uh, with uh, the particular uh, structural drawing. So let's say we are giving a spacing of 150. So if we are giving a spacing of 150, then uh, the range for the second reinforcement, that is the alternate one, uh, will be uh, something in between 150, that is uh, 75. So if we uh, just give a range of 75, uh, then uh, it can uh, we can do this. So we'll just do this as 75 and uh, we can you know select the second range for the second one that is uh, 150 by 2 
so we'll select the range for the second one so uh, now you know after having selected this range we'll just click on escape and we'll go to our view of or we can uh, simply uh, tile views so there are a lot of views here so this is uh, we want to work in this particular view that is uh, the grid line one we want to work in this view so let's uh, work in this view so we'll go to the concrete option i will select the option of rebar group so rebar group option we have selected and now we have selecting the part to reinforce that is this part and we'll, we'll start uh, from anywhere to reinforce so before that let's create some construction lines here also go to edit and uh, construction object line i uh, will uh, take the line from here to let's say uh, here which you which you already done actually you can select this uh, construction make this construction line uh, like this and the second construction line let's uh, make along this uh, we'll go to edit once again and then our construction object line and the second construction line let's make from here to perpendicular into any point so second construction line also we have made and after we have done that we can make our construction object with copy with offset so we are, uh, we are aiming for 15 mm cover so 15 mm cover plus you know the half of uh, the uh, diameter of the bar so uh, we'll, we'll do this as 15 plus uh, 8 15 plus 4 that is 19 so 19 mm enter and uh, 19 mm from here and from the top we want uh, this uh, 19 plus 8 mm that is for this one also top this one also 19 plus 8 that is 27 we want so 27 we are aiming at we are aiming at 27 enter and enter and then we will select the construction line which is this one and we will give a offset below so now the offsets are done from here so now we, are, we need to give offsets from here also so uh, this length you know varies you can check according to your design the 0.1l 0.3l whatever the uh, length is there uh, you can you know uh, check it from your design uh, just uh, go to your uh, this construction line we will draw a construction line along this uh, let's uh, draw a construction line from here to here perpendicular one and uh, another construction line let's draw from here to here so like this we have you know drawn our construction lines uh, if this is not visible you can take it again the construction lines and draw a visible construction line from any point you want from here to any point you like so after this is done we can uh, we can then uh, you know uh, make the offset so uh, let's go let's go with copy with offset let's go with the uh, distance of 1000 from this side that is the continuous side uh, you can change your distances accordingly and we'll go with 800 from the discontinuous side so like this we have gone so we are applying the top reinforcement currently so we'll go to concrete again before going to concrete we can again take an offset of 100 for the 0.42 d of the crank portion and take an offset of 100 from here and uh, again we're taking offset of 100 from here so now we can finally go to the option of concrete uh, rebar that is rebar group and then we can uh, select the portion to reinforce that is the slab and then the part to reinforce so for the part to reinforce you can just select this uh, intersection points also so uh, this will be actually continuous but i'm just showing for the sake of uh, showing this uh, we can start from here and by the way you can uh, change, change the uh, properties uh, menu for the uh, diameter of the bar which you are uh, selecting so we can uh, we can do that you can do that from uh, uh, any point so we'll go to the properties also and uh, we can uh, you know, change that later we'll change it later we'll go to the bar and then uh, select the part to reinforce uh, start from here just for sure visualizing and then here this is the intersection point make sure you have this uh, you know this uh, snap settings turned on and i want uh, it to go up to this midpoint and then i'll click the mouse middle button and after i click the mouse middle button so i'll just click on the range to reinforce so 
the range to reinforce my range to reinforce for this first one will be uh, from the 15 mm cover from here to the next uh, you know which i had uh, we had made this perpendicular one up to this one so when i uh, when we have uh, you know done that we we'll just click on double escape and uh, we have we actually uh, you know achieve this thing and we'll, we'll go with this you can change the grade of the concrete uh, to anything you want and this also you can change to uh, let's say 8 mm and then you can click on change this particular spacing on this 150 center to center and then click on modify so uh, you have uh, done that and once you have done that um, then you can just adjust this uh, particular shape here so uh, just click on go to edit and go to move and we can simply let's just take a good reference point simply select the middle portion of this particular reinforcement to this middle portion so this is done now we have uh, you know placed this uh, in the line and also if we can see in the 3d view as well we check in the 3d view as well the reinforcement have been placed so the next uh, pair of reinforcement also will place it along the uh, in the same way so now we'll go uh, to this particular option of uh, your concrete and after that the rebar and using in the rebar let's uh, select the shape first and after that we'll select this particular extension and this is not selected okay so we'll click the first point on this as my first point and then this is my second point this is my third point and this will go like this so after that i'll click the mouse middle button and now the range to reinforce will go back to the plan for the range to reinforce so the range to reinforce let's uh, we have started from here previously now we'll start from here to this particular zone so now as you can see we have uh, like the distance between these two uh, should be you know this uh, should be this should be in the center of this two so if this is uh, this is 150 uh, distance between uh, these two so this should be uh, in the 75 distance from it so uh, if you want it to be accurate we can also you know do that uh, let's go to edit and we'll go to the construction object go to lines uh, if we can uh, draw a construction line along this bar uh, from the from this middle from here to So okay, so from uh, we will take an offset from here. So we'll draw, draw the construction object from this uh, particular bar. Construction object line uh, that is from here to uh, this particular point. So this point, and now we can uh, take a construction object line, or you can just click on escape, go to edit construction object and copy with offset so uh, we want to give an offset here distance offset distance here of your uh, 75 sorry 150 by 2 that is uh, 75 75 pick this line and uh, do this as here so now we can just simply we can just simply uh, move it move this from all of the bars from we can move this from edit to edit we can move this middle from here to perpendicular to here and similarly from this end also we have to do the same thing so if we take a construction object that is line and draw from the middle portion and then we can take a construction object copy with offset uh, this value 75 enter and then uh, select this line and 
take an offset of 75 select this one and click on that double escape if we are not able to select select this one and then uh, go to move then we'll move this one from the center to perpendicular to this so now these bars you know top bars are you know placed accurately if you can uh, show you uh, this in uh, the 3d view as well we'll tile this to windows particularly and then we'll show you and you can see here you can rotate the model using the mouse middle button and control button so as you can see this has been done so now we have to adjust this also uh, so for that let's uh, open let's close this we don't need this now we'll just open the uh, another view that is the grid one in which we are working so we'll open that so once this is opened we'll just click on uh, tile vertically once again so uh, now you know we can uh, select and make sure the rebar group option uh, selection is uh, turned on so uh, we can simply select this and if it is not selected just click on escape and then uh, you can uh, select this properly so this is this is our bar just press control plus one and then click anywhere double uh, double escape then click on here and then we can uh, move this go to edit go to move move this from the center point to this center point so like this this has been moved so you know we have achieved what we have wanted so this is the crank bar and now if we just check in the 3d view just press ctrl plus one and if we just rotate the model and view it so as you can see these are the bars crank bars which we have provided so the top bars here in the structural drawing we have provided it like this and like this so these bars also we can provide uh, similarly uh, along this uh, top portion and along this uh, bottom portion throughout we can uh, you know provide this in the same manner if you have understood the concept of you know providing the uh, crank bars so we'll do this in a separate video of uh, how to provide the remaining bars but if you just got the concept then it is uh, very uh, similar to this so this is how we can uh, detailers you know uh, give the detailing uh, according to the structural drawing in Tecla Structures. So we will come up with more videos on Tecla Structures. Uh, till then, uh, stay tuned to our channel and if you want training on uh, professional training on Tecla Structural Designer, STAD or any software related to civil engineering, you can contact us. Bye bye.